Graham Phillips, and I play Ben Tennyson. Oh, man. <laughs> Go rolling right away. Reset, reset. Hi, my name is Haley Ram, and I play Gwendolyn Gwen Tennyson. My name is Lee Majors, and I play Grandpa Max. Jacobs. Ah! Ah! Cut. It's been a lot of fun working on this film. Right. Let's reach out and yep. go again, yep. The cartoon and the movie are pretty similar. The movie's a little bit more realistic. We've all seen Ben 10 out with Max and Gwen all summer long riding around, getting into adventures with the honor trick, battling aliens. When we find Ben in our movie, he's come back to his hometown. He's going to school. He's trying to fit into normal everyday life. He's not having an easy time because nobody in his town knows he's a hero. You know, I think you're supposed to chew gum, Tennis, and not wear it. Just consider a little welcome back present from us, loser. He can't really fit into being just a regular kid. Sorry, cuz, but back at home, you're not a hero. You're just plain old Ben Tennyson. He has to keep quiet and not tell anyone about his secret identity, so that'd be pretty hard. It's cracking, Lameson. <laughs> I think the film really delivers on giving you a new side of Ben and yet satisfies your desire to see him go hero and do all the stuff we know that he does. whole family can watch together and the older people won't be like oh my gosh it's like this is like a little kid show it's pretty cool actually so i'm pretty excited ben 10 race against time only on cartoon network is the source of all of Ben Tennyson's powers. Well, the Honor Tricks, as most kids know, is the, is the big alien watch that Ben finds in the very first episode, which allows him to be fed off the DNA of 10 different aliens. He turns it until he gets the alien silhouette that he wants, and then he smashes it down. Created a bit more of a mystery and a storyline around the Omnitrix um, that has a really cool payoff at the end that tells us a little bit more about what it is and shows us that it goes a little bit farther than anyone ever thought it went in the past. At last, my great race will rise from its dark sleep. For the first time in this movie, the Omnitrix starts to stop working due to this alien dude named Eon. He shows up in the town, starts blowing stuff up, we don't know why. And during the course of the movie, finally, he has more and more to do with Ben, and more and more to do with Max, and more and more to do with the history of Ben's own town, until we have some fantastic reveals at the end. You will no longer be a helpless, simple child. You will be a god, a ruler of worlds. My name is Christian Anholtz, and I play Eo. His overall objective is to open a time rift from our galaxy to his galaxy so that they can come into Earth and take over. I enjoy playing Eon very much, yeah. I've always been a sucker for Darth Vader, so I'm basing a little bit of Eon on Darth Vader. It's great fun. It's pretty hot in costume, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. What's about to happen here is inevitable. I won't let you have the Omnitrix. It's everything you've ever seen in Ben 10 come to life. And that's the bottom line. It's all the action, it's all the character, it's all the imagination, but it's like you're Ben. You're in the driver's seat. Ben 10, race against time. Only on Cartoon Network. And I play Gwendolyn Gwen Tennyson. I've had so much fun working on this. Everybody's great. Alex Winter, the director, is really funny and nice and fun to be around. Alex, yeah. who's your least favorite person in the cast? Hmm, I think it would be a boy named Benjamin Tennyson. Yeah. No, other than Benjamin Tennyson, that's mm. me. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan of um, sci-fi, of comedy, of action, and I love the show because I watch it with my kid all the time. So this was kind of a fun, you know, mixture of all these different things and styles that I like to play with anyway. Graham, who plays Ben, is very funny and easy to get along with. And he's like a big goofball, actually. Sorry if my face is shiny. Uh, it's really sweaty in here because we're in some sort of nuclear power plant. This is the good rust bucket. It's pretty cool, and it kind of smells bad. <laughs> Boo! Ah! You totally scream like a girl. I am a girl. Ah! You totally just scream like a boy. 
I kind of think that I am like Gwen a little bit. Sweet. You actually look like you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. If you paid attention to class, you would too. Gwen, I think she has a few tricks up her sleeve, so you'll have to see the movie to find out. <laughs> ben 10, Race Against Time, only on Cartoon Network. I'm here with Tim of Alterian Studios, and he's a special effects makeup guy. He's going to show us the Omnitrix. Well, the Omnitrix that Ben wears, we have several of them. This one here is a stunt that he just wears when he's walking around, not doing much of anything. What kind of lame watch is that? We also have what we call a hero Omnitrix, which does fun things. It's payback time. Can I, can I like, make it change colors? You sure can. Green. Red. Green. Red. That's pretty cool. Hollywood magic. Everybody, it's Blake from Fried Dynamite, right here in Hollywood, with an up close and personal look at tonight's Ben 10 movie. I'll be talking to everyone involved, from the director to the guy who made the sandwich. Plus, later on, I'm chilling out at the pool with none other than Ben 10 himself, Graham Phillips. Stick around. What aspects of Gwen do you most relate to? I probably most relate to um, how Gwen is always on the computer. Sweet. You actually look like you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. If you paid attention to class, you would too. What's it like working with Graham? He's really funny and fun to be around and really easy to get along with. Boo! Ah! <laughs> you totally scream like a girl. I am a girl. Ah! If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would want to be invisible. I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> Can I show you the fried dynamite handshake? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, so go like this, snap it, go like that, and then it blows up. Fried dynamite. And that's go. really cool. <laughs> Check it out! They're doing the big scene with Wild Mutt! Let's watch! They're gonna shoot me roll now. This is where we have a juggler come in. You can't shoot CG shots without a juggler coming in and juggling balls, and then you get the big shot. That's how all special effects all movies right, are made. And you roll it? It's a secret about the movie. You. I'm, I'm Blake. Nice to meet you, Blake. Oh, you're, you're in the new Ben 10 movie, right? Yeah. Oh, sweet. What, what is your favorite scene? It's when Eon, who's the bad guy, he grabs me, me and he throws me against a wall. But right before I hit the wall, I fiddle with my Omnitrix and then I turn into well. Hey, I'm with the director of the movie, Alex Winter. So, what are these? Every time we do a scene, we storyboard all this out so we know what all the different visual effects are going to be because all these scenes this guy is going to be totally computer generated right so it helps us figure out what the movie is going to be before we shoot it what scene are you most looking forward to seeing the actual movie you're about to do a stunt down here where we take ben and we throw him like 50 feet into the air that'll be fun to watch absolutely that was fantastic all right What was it about Ben 10 that made you want to direct this movie? It's got comedy, it's got action, it's got a lot of effects. And I love all the aliens he turns into. When you were a kid, did you ever dream of doing something so cool? If you look around on the set that we're on, it is sort of like being in a big playground. We're having a lot of fun, and it is kind of like being a kid making movies sometimes, especially when you're making movies like this. <laughs> so I'm right here with Graham, chilling out in the hot tub, just gonna ask him a few questions. You had to throw a couple punches, right? Did you learn any stage combat or anything like that? Yeah, I have a cool fight scene with Eon. My Omnitrix isn't working. And so what I do is I pull the fire alarm and then I punch him. And then I start rolling. There's uh, this one point where he grabs me and he throws me. I get my Omnitrix and I turn into Wild Men so I don't die. So yeah, I did a couple of cool things. So I heard you did a lot of stage combat in the movie. Could you teach us some? Yeah, here, why don't I show you? So what you have to do, like say that the camera's right there, mm -hmm. the person would turn just like that, and you would um, you would move your hips and your shoulders, do not try this at home, and you would uh, hit the person and blow back, do not try this at home. You'd go, and then you would react to it. Do not try this at home. We'll be right back with more fried dynamite. 911. In general, would you rather play a good guy or a bad guy? It depends on the role, but 
I don't like playing the bad guy. Could you give me some tips to play a villain? But yeah, I mean, uh, for Ian, I've, I've lowered my voice. What's about to happen here is inevitable. Glare, a good glare is, is always a good idea. And a growl. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> You're good. How long does it take to get all that makeup on? Um, from start to finish, just over an hour. Let's go. When this is all over, would you give me the keys to the rust bucket? Well, I'll give them to you right now. I'm gonna stop working like on day two of the shoot, so it's yours. Whenever you see shots of the rust bucket in the movie, it's a bunch of crew guys in the back going, ah, ah, just pushing it along the road. It's true. Look over there again. Yeah, that's what happened. Isn't that crazy? Oh, look, it's a rust bucket. Come on. It's just like in the TV show. Cool. Look at all these gadgets and gizmos. Robot arms. Oh, look. Maxwell Tennyson. Oh, that's Max. 1974, Plumber of the Year. Nice. Uh, Tiger Breaker, this is Fried Dynamite, and we'll be right back. I am here with Tim of Alterian Studios, and he's a special effects makeup guy. He's going to show us the Omnitrix. Well, the Omnitrix that Ben wears, we have several of them. This one here is a stunt that he just wears when he's walking around, not doing much of anything. What kind of much is that? We also have what we call a hero Omnitrix, which does fun things. It's payback time. Can I, can I like, make it change colors? You sure can. Green. Red. Green. Red. That's pretty cool. Hollywood magic. 